Today we are taking a look at this thing right here, which lets you effectively add another screen to your computer setup, which is also touch sensitive. So I've been using this thing for a pretty good amount of time and overall, it works really well. There's a few ways you can have it set up. The first way is to have it as an extension of your main screen, so you can drag stuff between them and have it set up like that. It basically gives you more space to work with. The next way is to have your main screen duplicated onto the second one. Whatever you do on one screen happens directly on the other. And the final way is to have either only your primary or secondary screen turned on, so the other one's going to be just blacked out. All these modes definitely have their own purpose and could prove useful in a few ways, so it's nice to be able to go into your settings and customize all that stuff. Personally, my favorite is having the primary screen extended onto the other display just because it gives you so much more space to leave stuff open and just have it there for easy accessibility. One example of this is when I'm editing videos, including this one. I can just leave folders open with all my clips, audio files, and everything else on the other screen while I do everything else on the main screen. So it's not all cluttered or so I don't have to keep opening and closing folders and whatnot. It just makes the workflow that much better. When using this thing, there's literally no delay in the input, so it's all super smooth. As well, this display also looks pretty darn nice. It has a 13.3 inch 1080p IPS panel and supports up to 10 points of touch at one time. The viewing angles are also crazy good. There's no discoloring at any angle. Also, this thing does not work with Mac only windows. The body of the display is made from this nice aluminum and overall this thing feels really solid. The stand it comes with is made completely of plastic but it does a nice job at holding the display in place and not moving around when you're pressing on the screen. It also allows for you to change the angle at which the screen sits. So taking a look around this thing on the front you'll find your power on and off button on the very top and below that is the menu button then the increase function button then the decrease function button, and on the very bottom is the exit button. And then on the back of this thing, you'll find your two speaker grills. And then finally, on the left side of this thing, you have your audio out port, mini HDMI port, two micro USB ports, and the port for the power source. While using this add-on display, I've literally only come across one complaint, which is the fact that with all the wires and stuff going everywhere, it looks pretty messy. Two cable ties are included in the box, but this doesn't really solve the issue that much. Personally, for me, all the wires everywhere sometimes felt annoying, and sometimes I could just look past them, but just know that unless you have some pretty decent wire organizing and hiding skills, then your setup won't exactly be the neatest. Overall, I really love this display. It can be super useful for plenty of different things, and it just makes using your computer that much more efficient. Like I said though, this does come at the cost of all those wires hanging around, unless you can find a good way to hide them. If you're looking for a nice display to add on to your setup, then I would have a pretty easy time recommending this one, except for the fact that at the time of making this script, it seems that the product is out of stock, so I'm not sure when or if they'll ever restock it, which is a shame, but either way, hopefully you learn something about these kinds of displays in general, which you can apply to future purchases and whatnot. Thanks for watching, the link is in the description below. As well, don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.